same kind of pleasure uh, playing with Android on the G1 here. I have my pocket. How Google's founders spend their billions. Larry Page and Sergey Brin are the 10th and 14th richest person in the world, respectively. As co-founders of Google, they represent the most visited website in world history and have a tremendous amount of capital to spend. In fact, they have a combined net worth of more than $120 billion. Today, we're answering the question, how do the Google founders spend their billions? But before we go on with our video, Hit that subscribe button to watch more videos like this one. Now let's get going. Millionaire Expensive Homes Everybody wants to live in beautiful big homes. And when you earn millions of dollars, you can't just live in small average house, right? In 2008, Sergey Brin purchased a 3,457 square foot home in Manhattan's Swinky West Village. And even at that time, the price for this small purchase was eight and a half million dollars. The apartment was actually much more than just decent. It is a four bedroom penthouse apartment. In addition to that, it also has a 23 foot balcony and limestone bathroom. Well, for $8.5 million, you should easily know that the apartment is spacey and beautiful. Just a fun fact about the apartment, it literally has heated floors. Brenda Powers and Elizabeth Sample, brokers with the Sotheby's in Manhattan, said that since the West Village is so hot at the moment, this apartment owned by Google's owner is now worth about $11.5 million. But if you think, as one of Google's founders, Bryn would settle with just one luxurious home, you're wrong. Bryn literally owns a 30,000 square mansion in Alpine, New Jersey. This enormous, luxurious, and deluxe mansion is worth $48.88 million. It has 12 bedrooms, 19 bathrooms, an indoor basketball court, a fitness center, and also a pool. That is not all. The mansion also has a movie theater, a 4,000 bottle wine cellar, a ballroom, formal and informal dining rooms, three bars, and if that is not enough for you, it also has a dining terrace. The master suite also has two spa bathrooms and even dressing areas called the dressing suites. Bryn did not stop there. He made sure if he is spending so much money on his mansion, at least it is fully equipped. That was all only about Sergey Bryn, but now it's time to see Larry Page's opulent and sumptuous house. This six bedrooms and six bathrooms, this Palo Alto home is an 8,149 square foot space. Larry purchased this home for about $7 million way back in 2005. But just like mentioned before, when you are rich, one house is not enough. Sure, I mean, it's uh, certainly a handicap in the sense of being able to manage people and to hire. That is well proven by the fact that just a few years after purchasing this home, Page purchased another property. This eco-friendly mansion is about 6,000 square feet. According to Palo Alto's weekly report of the time, Page's new mansion has much more than what we can imagine to have. It has elevators and green elements, like rooftops with solar panels and a rooftop garden. Fun fact, this is not the only time Page has bought some property. Larry has been buying up adjacent properties for the past few years. Investments in flying cars. Recent advancements in battery density, propulsion systems, and sense and avoid technology are driving the current investment frenzy into flying cars. The overarching idea is that electric cars will be smaller, quieter, and safer to fly, and much cheaper than traditional helicopters or private jets. Well, Google founder Larry certainly seems to agree with this sentiment because he invested $100 million of his money into a flying car startup. As we've been able to, you know, as we've done these things, we cause a lot of attention. Larry believes that this could solve a huge transportation crisis. And he also said that he imagines a world where people use these vehicles to zoom from Palo Alto to San Francisco in 11 minutes, a journey that could take hours to complete during rush hours. Expensive yachts. Both the founders of Google own their own very expensive and personal yachts. The world's fastest super yacht, the Dragon Flew, is owned by Sergey Brin. Built from aluminum, the Dragonfly super yacht is titled as the most stylish and efficient super yacht on Earth. Back in 2011, the yacht was up for sale for $80 million, and then it was purchased by Brin. The boat cruises at 25 knots, 
and it can sleep up to 18 guests, taken care of by a crew of 16. Back in 2018, Larry purchased a secondhand yacht for $45 million. The internet guru and mastermind bought the stylish 194 foot Expedition Super Yacht. The steel hold yacht was designed by Cushy Yachts and built back in 1999 at Germany's Schrias Yard. It was then remodeled in 2010, featuring interiors by design genius Felipe Stark. The yacht has accommodation for 10 guests and around 14 crew members and has over six decks. Supercars. These billionaires have pretty sweet rides sitting in their garages as well. Just like the co-founder of Google, Sergey Brin is also known to drive a Tesla Roadster. Back in 2015, Sergey Brin became the owner of the fourth Tesla Model X electric crossover out of the first batch unveiled at the Tesla's factory. These were all reportedly Founders Series models, reserved for board members and close friends of the company. Officially, the first Model X examples are all Signature Series models with a new Autopilot Autonomous System. And just in case you are wondering, this model retails for $110,000. Larry Page, on the other hand, also prefers himself an electric car, but he opted for a much less flashy model. The Toyota Prius, priced only at $39,000, Although it is not a wowza price, but Page seems to value function over flashiness. However, Larry Page does have a connection to Tesla after all. Larry Page thinks if he were to die, he'd leave his money with Elon Musk. He thinks that Tesla Motors' SpaceX XEO could do more with the money. In an interview with Charlie Rose, Larry mentioned Musk's idea of backing new humanity. And Aaron to them in other ways. You can actually control roughly where they by creating a parallel civilization of Mars. So whether or not he owns a Tesla, the Tesla owner sure does have his heart. Vacations. With billions to spare, why wouldn't you take lavish vacations? For one, Larry Page and Sergey Brin host an exclusive Google camp in Sicily at Verdura Resort every year. Only elite celebrities get invited. It costs $2,000 for one night for a 1,600 square foot villa. The resort has two golf courses, a 200 foot infinity pool, and a private coastline. They also reportedly vacation in Fiji. On a side note, Larry kite boards in his spare time. Major donations. Bryn seems to have a very clear mentality when it comes to altruism. He donated $1 million to the HIAS. Hebrew Immigrant Aid Society, the organization that made a critical role in helping his family escape anti-Semitism in Soviet Union, and also migrate to the United States of America 30 years ago. In an interview, Sergey Brin notes that he and his wife would like to engage more substantially in philanthropic endeavors. You want to hear it better, you actually just cover your ear, which is kind of surprising. Acknowledging that the $1 million donation is relatively small if you consider the fact that his actual worth is now at $62 billion. So far, the Brind family has donated over $30 million to charity, particularly to organizations that are involved with Parkinson's disease. Larry Page's net worth is incredible and continues to rise as Google grows even more substantial. When combining his net worth with Sergey Brin, the other co-founder of Google, they are worth nearly the same amount as the richest man of the world. Larry Page and Sergey Brin have written themselves into history by creating the largest search engine. They are now some of the wealthiest people in the world. To the surprise of many, the Google co-founders didn't even like each other when they first met while attending Stanford. They became close friends over the course of a few years and later became partners that would rewrite history. Together, they developed the page rank algorithm used to determine the importance of web pages. Google still uses this algorithm to this day. What do you guys think of our video? Did you know about Larry and Sergey before this? Or are you new to this knowledge? Do you know how many companies are actually Google owned at this moment? Let us know in the comments below. We always appreciate when you guys comment and we are always wanting to read them. So don't forget to comment down which TV did you like the best. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content.
Also, hit the bell icon button so that you'll get a notification whenever we post a new video.